next week for more of Sergeant Swell. <laughs> You know, when I appeared in True Grit with John Wayne, I looked up to him because he had the biggest darn horse you ever saw. In fact, I looked up to him in every scene we did together because I was on the littlest horse you ever saw. So you could really tell who was the main feature and who was the short subject. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my turn tonight. Here is John Wayne. You better get this horse some elevated shoes. Uh, never mind the horse. I'm gonna think I'm gonna need some when we get down. <laughs> there you go, big fella. Well, well, that's more like it. Yeah, we're right back where we started. You're the main attraction, and I'm the short subject. Well, never mind, kids. You ride tall in the saddle. Well, that's because I'm too sore to sit down. <laughs> hey, you know, the last time we worked together, that was fun. It was at the premiere of your new movie, Big Jake. Yeah, I got a kick out of that because of the new theater. The premiere was at the John Wayne Theater, built at Knoxbury Farm, as a tribute to the Duke here. Well, that, that evening was a real thrill, and it's a nice thing about that place. I can get in free now. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you're ever down that way, don't miss it, because around the lobby, there's displays showing all the original costumes, the props, and, well, everything from Duke's biggest movies. And I don't know where they dug up half of that stuff. Some of it I don't even remember. <laughs> this is the rifle I used in the stagecoach way back in 1939. Had that put on so I could twirl it. Yeah, I've seen you do that. All right, mister. Drop it right where you are. Or you're dead where you sit. <laughs> do a better impression than that or get another gun. This is really a great collection, Dukes. Yeah, it brings back a lot of memories. That case over there, for instance, has a wardrobe from... She wore a yellow ribbon. Captain Brittles, I guess my favorite character. Yeah. Over there, some more of the gun collection. There's the saddle and some of the riding gear that I've used in a few westerns. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the awards that people have been nice enough to give me over the years. And that's my wardrobe from the Green Berets, as dedicated and competent an outfit as the world has ever known. You know, the, the displays just keep on going. Say, how many movies you made? Oh, I guess over 200. Wow, that's fantastic. And I'm going to keep on making them until I make one right. <laughs> Duke, did it all begin with Stagecoach? Well, a uh, good one started with Stagecoach, but I'd done about 130 pictures before yeah. that, including one that I still have bad dreams about. <laughs> it was that bad, huh? <laughs> Would you believe a picture called Singing Sandy? I played the singing cowboy. No, I don't believe I would believe that. Well, it happened, so by the time John Ford asked me to do stagecoach, I was about ready for something with a little meat to it. Hey, let's look at some more of the film, okay? Good. This was a great picture, Duke, Red River. Yeah, that's some of the wardrobe and gear from it. I did that one for Howard Hawks. The Silver Fox, we called him. When he turned these steely blues on you, you knew he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> While I was doing this picture, I found a hat, not that hat, yeah. an old cavalry hat that uh, I've kind of used as a good luck piece. It's been kind of a trademark in a lot of movies. Like your hair is your trademark. <laughs> yeah, but so far my hair's only been in two pictures. <laughs> Didn't you get an Oscar nomination for this picture, Duke? Yeah, Sands of Iwo Jima. I didn't get the Oscar. But you sure got an Oscar for this one, and I got to say, I was mighty proud to ride along beside you, Duke. That's right, you were the kid on the short horse. <laughs> that was a thrill for me to be in a movie with John Wayne. <laughs> well, Duke, I got to say one thing. You deserve the Oscar, but I can't help believing if I'd have had a bigger horse, things might have been different. You never know. <laughs> and your, your new movie, uh, Big Jake, I, I really liked it. I saw it down there that night. Well, nobody's mentioned the fact that uh, Big Jake is a two-generation picture. My son, Mike, produced it, Pat co-starred in it, and uh, my youngest son, John Ethan, stole a picture right out of Munderall. <laughs> of all the pictures that you've made, tell me, 
Which one is your favorite? Well, you like each picture for a different reason. But I think my favorite will always be the next one. Well, I'll sure be there to see it, Duke. And once again, thank you very much. Appreciate it.